I'm Dr. James Januzzi from the Massachusetts General Hospital Heart Center and the BAME Institute for Clinical Research. We're here to talk today about a late-breaking clinical trial result from the Prove HF study. Prove HF was a prospective, open-label study originally performed in 2019 where we examined the implications of changing patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction from standard renin-angiotensin inhibitors like ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers to receive Secubitril valsartan, which is now a class one indication in the guidelines to manage heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. What we found in the original Prove HF study was that initiation of Secubitril valsartan, regardless of the background therapy these patients were receiving, was associated with considerable improvement in um, blood biomarkers like natriuretic peptides, improvements in health status, and most notably, substantial reverse cardiac remodeling with reductions in left ventricular volumes and improvements in left ventricular ejection fraction. So the mechanism of action of Secubitril valsartan re remains still somewhat under discussion. Of course, we know that because it contains valsartan, it blocks the angiotensin receptor. Through neprilysin inhibition, owing to the Secubitril portion of the drug, however, there is enhancement of numerous vasoactive substances. In fact, work from the Prove HF study has shown quite definitively a substantial increase in atrial natriuretic peptide, or ANP, which is in itself associated with vasodilatation and reverse cardiac remodeling. So it's this combination of blocking the bad, blocking the angiotensin receptor, and enhancing the good that we feel the drug exerts its benefits. So for the present analysis, we wish to examine the impact of Secubitril valsartan on a very important process in heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, which is the presence and severity of mitral regurgitation. For the audience to understand, the presence and severity of mitral regurgitation in patients with heart failure and reduced ejection fraction is directly related to the risk for adverse prognosis and worse symptoms. We also know that optimizing medical therapy for heart failure may improve the severity of mitral regurgitation, owing probably to reverse remodeling. And furthermore, should it not improve, catheter-based approaches, such as a mitral clipping to reduce mitral regurgitation, is mainly beneficial in those who've had their medications optimized. So we wish to examine in this present analysis the impact of initiation of Secubitril valsartan on the presence and severity of mitral regurgitation in the study participants. We examined those individuals who had uh, available echocardiographic data at baseline 6 and 12 months and who had not yet undergone a mitral procedure um, uh, or replacement. And that was, you know, more than 700 uh, study participants had uh, met these uh, criteria. After initiation of uh, Secubitril valsartan, we were able to show that from baseline to six months, there was a more than 40% reduction in significant degrees of mitral regurgitation, and this reduction remained significant out to one year of follow-up. Right. So uh, we would say that one of the most important uh, observations in this is the really rather dramatic reduction in mitral regurgitation that was seen among individuals with moderate or severe leak of their mitral valve. This in and of itself reinforces the importance of, um, of, of optimizing medical therapy to include Secubitril valsartan before making decisions about uh, mitral valve procedures such as a mitral clip. Furthermore, there are other key findings that should be emphasized. First, we examined those people who had moderate or severe mitral regurgitation at baseline um, as a function of whether they did or did not improve their mitral regurgitation after um, optimization with Secubitril valsartan. We weren't really able to identify major differences between the, these two groups at baseline, which really implies that you can't prospectively know who will or won't improve their mitral regurgitation. So there's no way you can sort of just rapidly decide to go clip a mitral valve. Really, at the end of the day, clinicians really should optimize medical therapy first.
In addition, we were able to show that those individuals who did respond and reduce their mitral regurgitation had significant reverse cardiac remodeling, a substantial reduction in their natriuretic peptide concentrations, and improvements in their health status scores, their Kansas City cardiomyopathy questionnaire um, results. Taken together, these results really show a broad-based impact of Secubitril Valsartan to not only improve cardiac function, but improve how patients feel in the course of treatment. These results send a very clear message for clinical practice. Clinical practice guidelines suggest optimizing medical therapy before making decisions about clipping a mitral valve, which has become a very common procedure in modern cardiology. Indeed, since the COAPT trial, there's been a doubling in the number of these procedures nationally. These results um, really indicate how optimizing medical therapy may not only help patients feel better, but also improve their cardiac performance and potentially reduce the need for an invasive and irreversible procedure such as a mitral clip. So taken in, in, in whole, when you look at the results from the study, it really essentially says doing our job optimizing medical therapy with guideline-directed medical therapy favoring Secubitril Valsartan as a first-line therapy is really job number one before deciding on an invasive procedure to manage mitral regurgitation. So as always, there are still knowledge gaps present with respect to data such as this. It would certainly be desirable to be able to prior to even initiating medical therapy, know whether a patient will or won't respond to the medical therapy. So you could potentially more directly go to a mechanical mitral valve solution. Presently, the results argue that we must start with medical therapy and then figure it out after the fact. So that's one area where I think we need more clarity. Understanding the mechanism of action of Secubitril Valsartan is another area of great interest and still under study. We are looking at it in our own group. Understanding how this drug fosters reverse remodeling and improves cardiac performance, I think, is a really important uh, area of focus. Lastly, prevention. How can we understand the best means to make the diagnosis of heart failure earlier and prevent the progression to the need for consideration of mitral valve procedures is another area that is really very much in need.